If you need to generate an environment object in Swift UI, check out this tip. The first step is creating an environment key. This will be the source of truth that internally will hold your value. Now, the second step is creating the environment value that will be available in any Swift UI view that needed. In this case, we are creating an extension of environment values. This one can hold any kind of value that you need it. Here, I'm just creating this settings option for my view, and I'm creating a getter and setter that will update the certain settings key that I have here. Now, if you need more keys, well, you need to repeat this process over and over. However, nowadays, there's a better way to do it. We're gonna merge the two steps in just one single step. We're gonna copy the value that we want for this property, in this case, sorting key. We're gonna get rid of that. And lastly, we're gonna add a new macro called entry. With this entry macro, we are generating exactly the same code that we saw earlier, but automatically in just one single line. If we need to generate more and more values, we can basically follow the steps, recreating a dedicated value for whatever needs, just using entry, and that will help us with a lot of repetitive code go away. Now we compile our code and it's working. Do you want to learn more tips? Let me know in the comments.